Yo, what up, people? So, uh, this is the designer's notes coming for season two, uh, Operation Phantom Sight. Uh, before I start, just to let you know if I'm reading a little bit weird or, you know, can't really find my words, it's because I'm fucking tired. It's my second video for the day and I'm trying to manage work in between, so, yeah, just, just, you know, bear with me. Alright, so, here are the changes coming in season two. First of all, attachments and tweaks. The Desert Eagle can now be equipped with a muzzle brick or a suppressor. Yes! Yes! As a Blackbeard main, I am so happy for this uh, this change coming to the Desert Eagle. I'm not going to lie, you might aim at that gun ain't shit. So I will take any help I can get with trying to control that recoil. Uh, Smoke's FMG9 now has the option to be equipped with the Vortex Scope. Uh, this is the gun on Mozzie's SMG. I love this sight, so I'm really happy about this change, and I hope to see this get put on more SMGs in the near future. And the third change is out of consistency, Finka's ability will now cleanse the resulting tinnitus while affected by an explosion. Uh, for those of you out there who don't know what tinnitus is, it's the loud high pitched ringing in your ears uh, that you hear after an explosion goes off too close to you, you know, kind of that loud. Yeah, that's tinnitus. So um, it wasn't really needed, but I guess it's a, a pretty cool change, I guess. So you can now. Um, breach with Finka better, I guess. Uh, moving on down to Glass. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm tired, so I'm not going to read that shit. So here's the breakdown. Uh, Glass is being reworked, as we know. So before, Glass was pretty powerful, but he was underused. So they changed his scope, which is how it works right now, where if he sees defenders, it lights them up like a fucking Christmas tree. Which is now just a tad bit OP, so Glass is now effective at close and uh, long ranges. So, like I said, it's fucking OP, so they're now changing it to how it's gonna work right here, as you can see in this video. Um, it's still gonna light up defenders, but only if Glass is standing still. The more he tends to move around, the brightness is gonna fade from the enemies, and I love this change. Next up is the current status in terms of Maverick. With Year 4 Season 1 release, we increased the swap time between the Surrey Torch and his weapons. We are still monitoring community reaction around Maverick. Player feedback indicates that the sound may be too quiet, so we're still looking at audio tweaks. It is too early to share specifics. Uh, in terms of smoke, a new propagation system for Capitol's asphyxiating bolts has been introduced. We're now exploring how to use the same technology for other operators and gadgets. Smoke's gas clouds are sometimes clipping through objects, and we're looking to improve its interaction with the environment and reduce the frustration stemming from misleading visual information. We're also investigating how to adjust the rendering of the gas cloud itself and modifying the damage dealt. We work in a gadget in this way. Uh, so as to not affect performance is a difficult and time consuming task, so we do not have an ETA for when it will be complete. And lastly, the deployable shields. So in the last uh, Pro League Finals, they teased that new shields will be coming and this is how they look with with the, uh, the new mirror slits in them. So they've, what they've done is they actually took out the mirror uh, part of it and the shields the glass in your shield is now clear, so it's kind of like the uh, the bulletproof cam. So yeah, we got bulletproof glass there now, and I like this change because a lot of people were complaining about that when the sh shield was first teased. Um, you know, because for obvious reasons, a defender could hide behind the shield and the attacker would never know, and then they could just pop up and get an easy kill. So uh, I'm glad they listened and made that change. And lastly, in terms of ballistic shields, we want to reinforce team play when it comes to shield operators. We are exploring different options again, the frustration generated by certain shield operators. Certain shield operators, certain, everybody knows they fucking mean blitz. Uh, it's being investigated and we are exploring possible solutions that can still allow shield operators to feel like a solid frontline choice. Yeah, see, they, they, they mean blitz, everyone fucking hates blitz. So that is the end of the year four season two designers notes, the preseason. Uh, I assume some of these are subject to change as we get close to the test server. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of this video. If you found this helpful, you can leave a like and share it around and comment down below what are your thoughts on some of these changes and subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content. Uh, the finals is this weekend. I'll be covering everything coming out of there. So if you missed the uh, reveal live stream, don't worry, I got you covered. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.